Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Joe Ellis. I'm an Olympus educator and wedding and portrait photographer in Dallas, Texas. And today we're talking about metadata and your Olympus camera. Let's get into it. Okay, so metadata is all of the sort of sidecar information that comes with every image that you take with your digital camera. It includes things like aperture and shutter speed and if the flash fired and the file dimensions and all kinds of useful information that you may want to remember about your pictures. And there's also room for things like descriptions and titles and copyright. Um, and one of the things that Olympus cameras do by default is in the basic description of every single image that you have, you'll see that they're usually tagged with Olympus digital camera. And when you post those pictures on social media or in other places, you'll see that it'll come up under every single image. I know this is especially true like in Facebook albums, for example, and it can frustrate people because it's difficult for them to get rid of it if they don't have a workflow that manages their metadata. So I just want to talk a little bit about metadata and how you can take control of it and how you can use it to your advantage. The first piece of metadata that I want to recommend that everybody do is that if you have an Olympus camera, it has the facility of adding both your name and copyright to all of your photographs. And so just to show you guys on an EM10 Mark III, if I bring this guy in and turn him on, flip up the menu, you can see that there's a facility here for copyright settings. And what you do here is you just hit this OK, turn it on, and then you can go in here and type in both the artist name and or copyright name. And then your camera remembers essentially who you are and tags all of your photographs with that information. So that's a really nice feature uh, just for safety uh, concerns. Instead of watermarking your images, you can just add the copyright into the metadata. And even that could be searchable by any database or even Google. Now. Um, if you shoot a lot of JPEGs and you have and, and you want to get rid of that tag, there are several ways that you can go about that. And so I go and talk about like three or three and a half of them today. I'm going to use Lightroom and Lightroom import presets. And we're going to go ahead and create an import preset and talk about how we can strip out that information and add our own. Then I'll talk about exporting from Lightroom and how you can use metadata there and strip it out if you don't want to have it. Then we'll talk about Photo Mechanic, which is my all-time favorite image editor for culling and renaming and managing things like metadata. And then last, we'll go over how to deal with that problem if you're in iOS, if you're in your, um, on your iPhone and you want to strip out that metadata as well. So let's jump into Lightroom on the computer and talk about import presets. Okay, so the first thing is here is I've got four photographs that I've sort of imported. Uh, I want to import, so I'm going to go into Import over here and we'll just go to test to copy and right here you'll see that um, on the right hand side during import it says apply during import and there's a metadata uh, section here if you open this up and go to new you can create a brand new metadata preset and these are things that will be applied to every single file as they're imported through Lightroom by default. It'll always default to the last preset that you used. So if you just set up one preset and then bring all your photographs in every day that you take them, it'll always use these same parameters. But the thing we want to change here, what's really bugging us with that uh, Olympus digital camera tag is actually right here in the basic and it's the caption. So if I go in here and change this to my name, then I have essentially eliminated the tag that Olympus has and replaced it with my name. And so you can make this anything that you like, um, but it's nice to have a little descriptor on each of, your, uh, each of your photographs, just marking who took it or for what reason. So go ahead and leave that there and you just hit create. And keep in mind, I'm not gonna go into it today, but there is a great number of options in this dialog box for putting different kinds of data into the meta part of each of your image files. So we'll hit create. And then we make sure that we use the Joseph Mark Photography preset. And then, of course, if we just go back to, um, I'll cancel out of this, and we'll go back to um, here in uh, the library module. And we have got all of our files in. And now it's, it's going to have stripped out that information that we had before just by changing that one little box in the basic tab of the metadata presets. 
So um, I want to show you guys another thing you can do, and that is if you go ahead and export this file, down here in the bottom of the settings for exporting, you'll see metadata is an option. And right here you can choose to kind of strip out all of the metadata and give yourself um, you know, sort of uh, clean, you can clean out all the metadata on the export so that your JPEGs don't have that information. If you prefer not to share what camera or what <laughs> aperture, shutter speed, or whatever it is, white balance that you use on images, then you could strip it out here. But what I typically do um, if I'm going to do this is I'll leave the copyright and contact info only if I'm for some reason wanting to take out the metadata. And then what that does is it will uh, strike everything except those two fields. And then when you hit export, then you get that image out uh, wherever you want to put it. So that's how Lightroom handles it, guys. You have import presets, and then you can change it on export. If you change either one of those two settings in the basic tab on import, or just strip it out in processing through Lightroom, then you'll get rid of that uh, descriptor of Olympus Digital Camera. Okay, let's talk about Photo Mechanic. Photo Mechanic, you guys, is just my all-time favorite thing. It is the program that I use for all of my culling and renaming and organizing and launching into Photoshop and um, even things like changing timestamps works well in, in Photo Mechanic. It's just my go-to all-around favorite piece of software for managing my library of images, and I have millions of them. It is not a database. You are not, it's not like Lightroom where it's keeping track of where everything is all the time. It's really simple. You just point it where you want to look, do something, and then exit, and it doesn't mess with that or have to create a database for any of it. Okay, so I'm going to go into my folder here, and we can look at these files, and if you pull up the information on this, you can see that it says Olympus Digital Camera. And so that's the descriptor that we can pull out and we did it with the import preset. So what I could do is I could apply um, a uh, IPTC uh, metadata uh, folder to this image and it would overwrite that information. So I could grab all of these and I could go tools and I could, or sorry, I could go IPTC stationary pad and then I could go into the description and I could say my name and I could go apply stationary to selected and it just went in and overwrote that and now if we go in and check the information it will have my name in the description instead of Olympus digital camera so I could do it that way another thing that I could do is I could import images so if I put my little card I have here into the side of my laptop and I'm going to use Photo Mechanic to ingest some pictures by control in. I hit, uh, sorry, I hit control G to import. And so I have this gigabyte of um, these 22 gigabytes on this card. I can actually apply my stationary as I am importing the images. So I could go in and edit that stationary, do all the same things I would do in Lightroom, change all my parameters, add keywords, I'll do all kinds of really cool stuff. And then um, I could just use my global stationary pad as I'm importing, and then it will add all of that information during the import process. And so um, that's exactly what I could do here. So if you want to do that, all you got to do in, in Photo Mechanic is just go and edit your um, IPT stationary pad, IPTC, IPTC stationary pad. And then look at all of these things you could add in here, location and, um, you know, world region and, and contact information and keywords and all those kinds of things. But if you just want to get rid of the Olympus digital camera uh, descriptor, just go into the description caption and then you could either delete it or you could add some information there that you would want to be there. So uh, super uh, easy to do and you could do it during import or you can do it um, you could do it after the fact. It's really pretty simple either way. Um, I sort of think that either doing the import preset in Lightroom or doing an import from Photo Mechanic is the best way to go just because it's a set it and forget it kind of thing. If you leave those uh, things on every single time you import, it will do those, those nice, uh, tidy housekeeping things for you. Okay, so what about iOS? And I'm sorry guys, I'm not an Android user, but maybe the same exact app uh, exists in the Android marketplace like it does in the App Store. But uh, for what it's worth, there should be something you could find to do this. But the one I found in um, iOS is called uh, Image Investigator. And it's like a $3 app that allows you to view and modify metadata in iOS. So I'll just open Investigator 
and then I've got a photograph in here already. Uh, oops. And if I want to change the metadata, I would just go to the metadata button and then I would hit edit metadata. Then you can see that Olympus Digital Camera is showing up here in the caption section. And I can just hit remove and save. And uh, I would remove the original yes. And now I have a copy of the photograph in iOS without that tag in it. So pretty simple stuff, but there's nothing built into iOS natively that allows you to do that. So you're gonna need an app. But those are the three ways that you can manage your metadata and you can get rid of that pesky Olympus Digital Camera tag if it's bothering you. So uh, just to recap, you can use an import preset in Lightroom. You can strip out the metadata in the, in the back end in the processing through Lightroom. Uh, when you go to export, you can look for metadata in the export dialog box and choose copyright and name only. Uh, you can use Photo Mechanic and you can edit the IPTC data in Photo Mechanic and you can do that from just looking at any photograph or you can do it on import with the global IPTC <laughs> uh, settings. And then the fourth way I guess you can do it is you could do it in iOS by using um, Sorry, I'm always forgetting the name of this thing. It's called Image Investigator. And so those are ways that you can not only uh, deal with that problem, but also move into the world of metadata and the usefulness of managing that, um, uh, those settings in your camera and also um, you know, in post-processing. So if you're a person who likes keywording or you just wanna make sure that you have your copyright listed on all your photographs, this is where you start with that. Hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.